Ethan Beeps, good evening everyone. How's everyone doing? Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget as well to like and share the vid. Peeps, I'm excited. I can't lie to you. I'm very, very excited. The GOAT is back. John Jones is back this weekend. For me, and it should be for you as well, the greatest MMA fighter of all time. Um, if you don't believe that, argue with yourself. He's better than Anderson Silva. He's better than George St. Pierre. He's better than Fedor. Who else is there? He's better than Khabib Namagamadov. He's better than Demetrius Johnson. Um, he's better than Amanda Nunes. Who else is there? He's better than Daniel Cormier. He is the greatest. But he has been out of the octagon for, I think, three years. Three years. Um, I just don't think you can take that long off. I really don't. As good as he is. And look, I've said he's the GOAT. I don't think you can take that long off and move up a weight class as well to heavyweight. Um, it's not going to be easy. But look, if he beats Cyril Garn on the weekend, then, I mean, that just cements him as the GOAT for me. That means there's a champ champ. He's the champ champ. Do you know what I mean? A two-weight world champion. Um, I really hope that we do get the Francis and Garnu fight if John Jones wins. I hope that the UFC can tempt and Garnu back with some ridiculous offer. You know, a fight I'm disappointed we didn't see. And there was a time when it might have happened. There was about a window of about eight months, just eight months. And that was um, Israel Adesanya. Um, there was a time when he stepped up to light heavyweight. He got beat. He got beat. And a lot of people thought that if he were to have won the light heavyweight title, then John Jones might have said, you know what? One more roll of the dice at 205. But it didn't happen. But look, John Jones is back. Um, it's good for the promotion as well. I felt like the UFC... Um, not that it doesn't have stars, but I felt like it didn't have any superstars, right? I mean, who's the biggest name? Obviously, Connor's now back, John Jones is back, but prior to them returning, the biggest name was probably, obviously, Nate Diaz has gone as well, probably Hamzat, Hamzat Chimaev, probably, and that's just not, it's not big enough, is it? But now John Jones is back, now Connor's back, um, Henry Cejudo's back as well. The UFC is in a good place. All right, let's, um, we might start doing some UFC live watch alongs as well. And I might start talking a bit more about the UFC and just MMA in general. Um, I think I'm going to start doing some work for the PFL. Um, the zone are just organizing that as well. So look, there might be a lot more MMA talk. I know a lot of you guys are big MMA fans. All right, what is there to talk about this evening? Carl Froch, Jake Paul was exposed by Fury. I'll smash him to bits. Yeah, I don't think anyone would argue with that. Um, it's funny now when you, obviously it's in hindsight, right? But when you look back and think that some people maybe thought Jake would beat Carl and some idiots even thought, I'll give Jake a couple of years and you never know against Canelo. Idiots. Um, <laughs> Deontay Wilder felt that Jake Paul had done enough, disagrees with the point deduction. Yeah, that referee was just useless. Look, I mean, he was useless for both, right? I mean, but the point deduction for Jake Paul, no warning. Like, normally you get a warning. I watched a fight. He didn't get any warning. If, if anything, the warnings were to Tommy Fury. He, and all of a sudden, just deducted a point. I was like, huh? It's ridiculous. And then I knew I was going to give Tommy Fury a point deduction because it's almost like I've given you one. I'm going to give you one. But yeah, um, the referee was awful. Look, we spoke about what next for both of them already. But I mean, look, if you're Jake Paul, <laughs> there's no shame in losing to a boxer. And I know that Tommy Fury isn't the most experienced boxer, but he is a boxer. That's what he is. So there's no shame at all. Um, it was semi-competitive to the point where you could do it again. But I don't think there's any... No one's calling for it. So um, I don't know. If you're Jake and you still want to continue this boxing thing, and I think he does, then maybe you... Because he had his sights set on... like I mean, the WBC was going to rank him. So he had his sights set on continually fighting boxers. Now I think it's a case of you fight crossover stars. And he look, he might be too good for them, but I think that's what he's going to do going forward. Um, what else is there? Uh, Devin Haney on Lomachenko. I told him a long time ago, fight me now because it's only going to get worse. I mean, steady on Devin. You beat Cambosos. And look, and, and you beat him well, but um, Loma would have done that. Lo I think Loma would have embarrassed Cambosos. So look, I mean, it was a good win. I know you're undisputed. But I still think there are question marks as to whether people think you are the number one in the division. I mean, if you were to put a beating on Loma, 
a few of those question marks go away, but I still give Loma a good chance. I actually make Devon a favourite now, and that's difficult for me to say because I'm a big Loma fan. But um, I don't think this is any foregone conclusion. I think Loma looking really poor in his last fight actually might help him um, because he knows there's still some work to be done. But, I mean, I give Loma a chance, man. I really do. When you're as good as Loma, um, you've got to give that guy a chance. You can never rule out someone like Lomachenko. Uh, John Fury says Usyk not worthy of a 50-50 split tells him to fall in line and you might get the fight. <laughs> man. Is John Fury Tyson Fury's manager or something? Um, look, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if if Usyk is not worth a 50-50 split, then he's certainly worth a 60-40 split. I'd love to know what Fury is willing. Like In this interview, I'd love to know what Fury is willing to actually say, okay, we can make the fight if Usyk agrees to what? It can't be anything less than... 65-35 for me. It can't be. Usyk is unbeaten, unified champion, pound for pound number one, cruiserweight, great. Like, he can't, I'm sorry, you can't go less than 65-35 with that guy. And he puts bums on seats as well. This isn't just a Tyson Fury show. You know, I, I actually think he puts more bums on seats than Dillian White did, even though Dillian White's from London and Chisora did, both guys from London. I think Usyk actually, I think more people will pay to watch Usyk fight Fury than they did to watch Chisora and Dillian White fight Fury. That, that's what I think. So I think he's worth a lot more than both of those guys. I don't even know what split both of those guys got, but he's worth a lot more than that. 65-35. Look, and if you're Usyk, look, if you don't get it, I mean, obviously he wants it, but if you're Usyk, there are still so many good options out there. Do any of the options make you the same money Tyson Fury would? No. But um, there are some good options out there regardless. But let's hope we get some sort of um, announcement very, very soon. Uh, Mayweather fears he broke left hand during a London exhibition. I don't want to talk about that exhibition. That was honestly, I mean, I've never been, I, I got free tickets and I'm still upset. It was it was that bad. It was that bad. I want to quickly talk about Conor Ben. Um, look, Conor Ben's going to fight again. Whether that's wrong or right, I mean, you guys can make your own um, judgment up on it. He's going to fight again. Obviously, he's going through this thing with the British Boxing Board of Control. But if we can somehow park all that for a second and let's just talk about potential opponents for Conor Ben, um, I think the obvious, and if I'm if I'm Matram, it's almost um, a home run. It really is. Is Adrian Broner? It's 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 so perfect that I can't see how discussions aren't going on behind the scenes. I mean, I know they've mentioned Manny Pacquiao. Forget that nonsense. I don't want to see Manny Pacquiao versus Conor Ben. I, I'm not joking. I really don't. I heard the other day, Manny Pacquiao, Kelbrook. I don't want to see any of that. I really don't. Look, if it happens, I'm going to work on the event and, you know, I've, I've somehow got to say it's a good fight and look, it will be competitive. But I don't want to see it. I want to see Conor Ben versus Adrian Broner. I think it just makes sense. I mean, Adrian Broner um, did a post the other day saying, look, He's no longer working with BLK. Obviously, they tried to get him five or six opponents. I don't know what happened. It didn't happen. Although he did sign a free fight, 10 million deal. I'm guessing both have just agreed to rip that up. So he says he's a free agent. Um, I don't know what weight Broner was going to come back at. I, I'm guessing it might have been 140. But, you know, this is the former 147 champion. He would be happy to fight at 147 and he would be more than happy to fight Conor Ben. Conor Ben would be more than happy to fight Adrian Broner. Um, and I would expect Conor Ben to beat Broner. But I think it's um, it's a good name. It's a good name for Conor Ben. It is. It's, is it one that's going to um, help his legacy or anything like that? No. But it's one that will put eyeballs on the event. It, it is. It's just one that will put eyeballs on the event. And um, I still think there's a bit of gas left in the tank with Broner. Not a lot, but a bit of a bit of gas. And he's still got that. He's got his boxing brain to cause um, Conor Ben some issues. Um, I think the Middle East would welcome this fight. I mean, look, Conor Ben's not going to get licensed over here. I, I don't think it's a fight that will do great numbers in America. Maybe it will. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. But I think it's something that the Middle East would welcome, right? If we're going to talk about fights going on in that region. I just think it's a fight that makes sense. Um, and when I say sense, look, there's there's two senses I'm talking about. Um, there's 
sense in terms of what it does for rankings and, you know, giving you an opportunity to fight higher ranked opponents. I'm not talking about that sense. I'm talking money sense. That's what I'm talking. I'm talking money sense. It makes that. It's a fight that will do good numbers. Both of those guys talk a lot of shit. We know that. Um, and I just think it will put eyeballs on the sport. I think it's, um, again, I think it's a home run. And if I'm Eddie Hearn and I heard Adrian Broner is a free agent, I'm, I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get him. And, um, and I don't think Eddie needs to go and make an offer like he did two or three years ago, four or five years ago. It will be a lot cheaper than that to get Adrian Broner. So for me, it's one that I think Conor Ben would accept. I think Broner would accept. I think everyone would be happy with. I think more people, honestly, put it on paper. Ask people, do you want Conor Ben versus Manny Pacquiao or do you want Conor Ben versus Broner? I think you ask 100 people, I think 90 would say Conor Ben versus Broner. I really do. Um, late night green tea, peppermint tea. I've got three tea bags in here. Peppermint tea, green tea, and this one might surprise you. It's very good for water retention. Uh, that's nettle tea. Yeah, bit of um, bit of information there for Mister Oladipo. <sighs> All right. Um, let's see if Michael Benson's got anything to say for himself. What do you guys think the numbers were uh, for Jake Paul? Um, Tyson, Tommy Fury, I think it would have been around half a million, maybe a bit more actually. Yeah, here they go. Adrian Broner has declared that he is now a free agent as he has parted ways with BLK, BLK Prime before having his first fight on the platform. Man, Eddie's got to make a move for him. He really has to. Um, two sex. I think that is it. Yeah, that's it. Um, we are, we are done, done, done. All right, guys, girls, peace.